Okay, so on my iPhone, I will open the Office Lens app. And when I open the app, basically it enables the phone camera. And you can see that it has the document option selected, which means that I want to scan a document or text essentially. Uh, notice that it also gives me the option to uh, take photos of whiteboard, business card, photo. So uh, basically what it does is if I take a photo of any of those objects, it can read the text from those objects and convert them into like an electronic readable format. Anyway, uh, so for this example, I will have the document option selected. And what I'll do is I will open a page here. So I'll just open a random page here and uh, I will take a photo of these pages all right so uh so if i uh, i need to make sure that all of the text is selected in that orange box and that it's all like you know uh it can be read uh, clearly by the camera okay so once i think this looks okay uh i will take a photo of this okay and then what i'll do is i'll press the button on the bottom left to add another page to this document so so there's that and then I'll take the photo of the next page. And I would want to make sure that um, I have the gutters and the margins. Uh, you know, there are no words flowing into the margins and the gutters. So just want to make sure I capture all the text clearly. And when I do that, I take a photo. Okay, so I can uh, add as many pages as I want to this document and once i'm done i'm going to just take do two pages for now but once i'm done with all of my pages i click the the check mark option on the bottom right and what this does is it gives me several options now right so uh, i can i can export these to any of these uh file formats uh, but one one option that I want to show you is the immersive reader. And this is where uh, the immersive reader is part of the Office Lens app here on my on the iPhone. And uh, it basically scans the text and then enables it to be read out loud and also gives you the option to enlarge text as well. So this will take just a few more seconds. Uh, and also like the bigger your document, the more pages your document has, uh, the longer it's going to take you know so just keep that in mind and now you can see that the uh the scan is pretty decent right so i mean yes it does make some mistakes here and there but for the most part um it's pretty accurate and uh, and i think the more you uh convert the more you know practice you have so to speak the better the uh capture is and thus the better the output is okay so now if i want uh, I, I click the uh, aa symbol uh for the white text spacing and then uh you know so this is for this is just to make sure that uh anyone with dyslexia they can have uh, they have the words spaced out well enough so that they can read them. Uh, and then I can also enlarge the text by pressing the bigger A button or the smaller A button to make the text smaller. Right. And then I can read the text as well. Right. So I can also change the rate of speech. So you can see that there are some uh, mistakes here and there, uh, but overall, it's pretty decent. Uh, the one limitation of the immersive reader within the Office Lens app is that it does not let you edit text, right? So uh, for that reason, you would want to export it to a different format like Word. So if I uh, move it to Word, then you will see that uh in the in in a in the word application it will let me edit text let's give it a few seconds and then see okay it should be any minute now
All right, we're getting there. Okay, so if I say tap to open, it opens that document in uh, the Word app on my iPhone. So now you will see that um, it it does it does a few weird things. It all it doesn't necessarily um, the I I feel like the the capture is not as accurate as the uh, default Office lenses uh, capture. Um, but what it does is it lets me the it gives me the ability to um, edit this text right so I can now come in here and make my changes right so and this is um, sorry well you get the idea right uh, so this is corporations etc core so I can now make all of my changes I can delete these weird uh, areas of the image and then uh, save this as a word document so through my phone uh, through my phone's camera I can actually get text uh, which can be used for different purposes and, uh, you know, I, I feel like the more you practice, the more uh, you use this app, the better the uh, accuracy or the precision is. So now, you know, you can save this as a Word document or you can always go back and save it as a PDF or any other electronic format. So uh, if you don't have a scanner at work or, uh, you know, you, you have volunteers who can help you with this, this is another like uh, inexpensive way of converting uh, physical books into electronic formats.